Hey YouTube, it's Primona and uh, welcome back to my channel. This is episode five, I believe. Like, this is crazy. How are we already on episode five? Off to the wedding. Still, I need to figure out what this is called. <laughs> but I'm back with my Sims Free Play Legacy series and we are with our girl Naomi and uh, she's preparing for the wedding. We had an engagement dinner and our neighbors want to go around stealing our stuff so we went and got some revenge um so we're kind of starting off there um with the story and this episode is going to be kind of crazy so definitely stick around make sure you guys subscribe down below like this video and also comment your favorite part of the series in the comment section and yeah i'm just so excited i've been loving the series so far and hopefully you have as well but without further ado let's just get right into it Alrighty, so we're with our girl naomi and it looks kind of gloomy out right now because um i checked well naomi checked the forecast <laughs> for the weather and it's actually going to rain like really bad today um so naomi's kind of thinking of grabbing some things and going over to david's house because she hasn't really been over to david's like apartment with his brother and they've kind of been together pretty much like this whole week so naomi kind of misses david her fiance and she's gonna go visit him today and kind of just like visit him hang out for like the afternoon and then in the evening time she's going to go over to her mom's house because her mom has to tell her some things about some venues and things to look at because she wants to take her to see some venues tomorrow so we maybe will stay over at our mom's house um so yeah there's a whole bunch of different things naomi um has planned going on so we're gonna jump right into it it's so cloudy out like look how dark it looks like it's supposed to be summer like <laughs> Look at it, it's literally thunderstorms. That's today's forecast for today. So yeah, um, we're not gonna try to be outside when the thunderstorms start. Hopefully we don't run into our neighbor, but if we do, if we end up like having to run into him, yeah, we're gonna confront him about his secret because we know his secret now. Actually, let's see. But we know his secret about the kettle. Like, bro, we're, we're confronting you about your secret. You can't hide. <laughs> She has been practicing some more Toki Sulani. Uh, so yeah, she's been trying to practice and get better. So, and then also like, she kind of like calls David up every now and then and ask him like, hey, you know, um, can I practice with you with like the language? Like, can I practice with you? David, when is homeboy gonna move in? I have no idea. He needs to move in soon so we can have his money as well. <laughs> <laughs> because oh boy like you got a good job david actually what is he he works in the law enforcement david is a detective so yeah he's a detective at the police station so he making some money and um yeah he got his degree already so yeah like david bro yeah we need some of that money <laughs> so i don't know like that's another thing i was thinking about like should david move in and i'm like i don't know May, well, we'll see the round with the venues and whatnot um, and kind of get everything going. But yeah, like, I don't know if I want huh. David to move in with Naomi as of yet. Because she's still trying to, like, you know, get everything settled, make sure everything is, like, good with just, like, her living by herself. Um, and she wants to, like, experience living on her own. Maybe when we're, like, almost kind of done getting all the wedding stuff together, then we'll have David move in. But I don't know. I kind of want her to, like, be on her own for now. But I don't know. We'll, we'll chat with David and see. He'll probably but yes <laughs> i want to move i want to be with you every single day which you know david he's just super obsessed with naomi i don't know i don't know if i want them to move i don't know what do you guys think in the comments <laughs> to david move in with naomi because the only thing i'm thinking about is that money like david we need your money give us all the money bro for this wedding ah. hello all righty so naomi has leveled up to level two, she's improved her knowledge of the Toki Salani language and is now less likely to experience miscommunication while speaking with others. Um, I want to go and visit David, bro. We, can we go and visit him before the rain starts up? I don't know what time. It's already starting to drizzle, so maybe we'll go and um, invite to hang out. No, 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 no. I got this mod where it's like, can I come over? Oh, here it is. Can I come over? Okay, David. There we go. Naomi, if you don't get off of that. Thank you. They need to fix this too. 
Seems like David isn't answering. Should try again later? Huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we told Phoenix to um go out with this guy named Emmett. She says that it went well. Who is this Emmett guy? I gotta find out. David isn't answering, bro. Is his brother answering? Is he okay? I swear, if he doesn't answer, like, bro, Naomi, I don't want her to get nervous. <laughs> is he working? It is Saturday. He's not at work. What about his brother? David Lewis. I think it's Dylan Lewis, right? Dylan, yeah. What did he say? What do you say? Tell me what do you say? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, scare me. Of course you can come over. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, so we are over at David and Dylan's place. And here's Dylan. He's so sick now. I wonder, can she give him a hug? Ah! I can't spell. Okay, there we go. Can she give him a hug? Just be like, hey, hey Dylan, nice to see you. Oh, where's my fiance? <laughs> Is he okay? Oh my gosh, so we can actually, so they actually started speaking um, Toki Sulani together. <laughs> so she's actually going to ask him for help <laughs> with Toki Sulani. Be like, oh, you know, I'm actually learning some Toki Sulani. Um, hopefully I'm not too bad with trying to communicate with you. Oh my gosh, it's David. David! David! <laughs> Let's actually um, say hello to our mans. Goodbye, Dylan. Um, you're our brother-in-law and all, but uh, goodbye. Our mans is here. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, Naomi's going to come over and be like, David, why did you answer your phone? I'm so worried about you. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I came over before the rain started. Oh. Oh. Oh, she really missed him. Huh? <laughs> She was wanting to come over because she, of course, wanted to see David, but also wanted to ask him about um, the wedding venues. The budget type's already been chosen. Can we ask him about the venue? Wedding. Let's see if there's anything. Ask about... So she's going to ask him about the budget. Um, and then... I'm obviously enthused about the wedding too. Um, it's important to maintain our relationship during the pre-ceremony phase as wedding planning could add to our respective satisfaction about the wedding while also increasing stress. Therefore, it's wise to spread out the planning interactions. Throwing wedding parties can increase our satisfaction too if they're successful. During any wedding party, accidents and arguments will ruin our satisfaction while traditions and good relationships will add up to satisfaction. Um, and everybody has different purposes. So basically it's kind of just like, let's not get like super all up into the wedding stuff. We could take some breaks, um, and it doesn't have to be super rushed. Like we can literally get married whenever. <laughs> um, so did I put enthused about upcoming? Oh, I did. Okay. So she's definitely going to enthuse about the wedding. And also there was something where I can ask him, oh, oh, is it this ceremony type? What kind of ceremony? Oh. Does he want? Because she's going to go and talk to her mom about the venues and see, like, what they should be looking for. So Naomi's really excited. And I'm excited, too. Let's see. I want to have your input as well, David. What are you thinking um, that we should have? Anything goes. So Naomi, she doesn't really care what their venue is. She's like, anything's great. Um, I just want to look beautiful. Um, and I just want like whatever looks good and david said let's have an outdoor wedding and we better have it in a green neighborhood okay so david looking at homeboy oh whoops this one so david is an outdoor sim he really loves outdoors so i kind of had a feeling that he would say that <laughs> he really loves outdoors um so he's probably like you know Let's just have an outdoor wedding. I just want to be outside. I want to see the greenery. So Naomi's really going to take that into consideration with looking at venues uh, tomorrow with her mom. And we're going to see if we find any cool like outdoor wedding venues. And I I think I really like an outdoor wedding for them though. Because indoor wedding, like it's nice and all, but I really love like the scenery, the trees, the flowers. So I'm kind of feeling it too. So I'm down for it. David's down for it. Naomi's like, anything goes. It's whatever. <laughs> so I think that we're going to do that and look for some outdoor venues. So this is actually David and Dylan's apartment. They stay in this place here. And it's pretty cool. Like apartment. They got like a pool kind of area kind of going on right here. Um, And each like backyard kind of has like their own 
activities like planting and she over here boxing one of their neighbors and then they have like a little painting thing that they can do too which is pretty cool and are they really just dancing right now oh lord they are so in love it's gross <laughs> like y'all really just and dylan's like i'm getting up out of here bro <laughs> look he's like i do not want to see that right now <laughs> But this is David's room, this one, um, with the red and blue kind of going on. Oh, she completed the milestone. Okay, nice. Um, and of course, David has this picture of him and Naomi by his bed. Um, but you know, he's a simple man. He don't got too much of stuff in his room. <laughs> and a closet. And then this room is his brother uh, Dylan's room. He got his computer. He got his bed um but yeah like it's a pretty nice area is naomi out here painting again ma'am what did i tell you about saving your money what did i tell you about saving your money you might as well just keep the paint just keep painting then it's actually pretty interesting painting you better finish it too waste my money <laughs> well and then she could just sell it i guess but now since i'm david um david's actually gonna go for a little swim and i guess just talk with his brother where is she running to? Excuse me, ma'am. Where are you running? Did you finish this painting? Oh, she, wait, she did? Oh, she did. Oh, it's a nice painting. Okay, well, come and sell this thing so I can get my money back. <laughs> Please, come and sell this thing. Nice. All right. We got the money. All right, so, wow, it actually, I thought it was going to be thundering and lightning. What the heck? Okay, well, it kind of stopped raining. We're actually going to go home. Not to our house. We're going to go home to our parents' house. We're just going to travel by ourselves. Let me actually stop controlling David so he can do his thing. there. But now, since we know what kind of venue to look for, we're actually going to, we're actually going to keep that in mind uh, when we go out to see the venues and see which ones are good. Like, I looked at a couple different venues. I got to actually go there with Naomi and just like walk around and see. But some venues I placed down, they might be the winner winner, but we're going to have to see. So we are back home with the fam and oh my gosh. Okay, two things are happening right now. Um, Elion is... Why is she looking like so sad? <laughs> and I'm like, no, my girl, Elia, she's not about to cry. But then again, I look over at this cat with this dragon costume. Oh, are, is it the stray? It is a stray. Oh, okay. So I was kind of thinking that I wanted Naomi to get a pet, but gosh, I don't know. Like if we're ready for a pet and pets cost money too. And what's with the ears on this? animal oh my gosh look like they're about to like fly away like they're like a bat or something <laughs> we're gonna come on in knock on the door start a break in wow break into our old house <laughs> and there's our mom out there doing some laps okay ma'am swimming in place that's the new technique so she's like oh my gosh like mom like i i asked david what he wanted for the venues and there's a couple that i think will be pretty cool and her mom's like wait what kind of venues <laughs> So our mom's like, so with me going around and acting, you know, and flying to different places, I've definitely seen a lot of great like venues passing by that I think will be really cool for you. And she was like, wait, like, what did David say? What does he kind of want? And she's like, well, he really wants something like outdoors and just something with a lot of greenery. So she's like, well, we definitely have a couple that we can look through that I think would be really cool. And Naomi's kind of like also going to talk to her about like the wedding like stresses um, that she's kind of going through. And her mom's like, I don't care about that. I'm walking away. <laughs> no, sit down, ma'am. Oh my gosh, it is storming outside. She's like, I'm glad I came when I did because I don't think I want to go home in this storm. And mom's like, yeah, just stay over. We're going to go into the venue tomorrow anyways. She's just going to stay home and chill. Where's Archie at? And also, uh, where's the food at? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll make something. We'll cook something. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Hamburger sliders, garlic noodles. Let's do the garlic noodles. Ooh, hopefully nobody's outside. Is Archie here? Oh, people are running out here. Oh Lord, ma'am, you're gonna get struck by lightning. All right, I don't see, Archie's not in his room. Maybe he's out with his girlfriend. Maybe he's out with Charlotte. Oh, there's Archie, he must be back. Okay, everybody is sick. Oh my gosh, y'all sicklies, get away from me. I just got better. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, her mom's just so happy. Look at her just like dancing around. Like, so happy that Naomi's back. Ask about grandchildren. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate when parents ask that. Archie, if you don't eat them garlic noodles. I just made food. Naomi seems like she would really want to have kids though. Um, let's see. Would be happy to have a child. The same would love being pregnant and having a child. Whether it's the right time or not, if a pregnancy happens, the sim will find joy in it. Okay. Well see, Naomi would like having kids. We have to see what David would want though. I think he'd want kids too. He doesn't seem like he wouldn't. Oh, you know what we should have did? We should have brought our work so she can work on her book. Oh, we have a computer here. Okay, nice. So we're actually, since our mom has a computer, we are going to start writing uh, this biography. They are literally not eating my noodles I made. You made a whole nother cake? Bro, I made garlic noodles right here. See, y'all can bake all y'all want, bro. <laughs> I think Marlo went to bed. Marlo's like, forget y'all, yeah. Marlo's sleep. And I think Shingiru... Oh, he's not even asleep. Okay. All right, we'll put our noodles in the fridge. Oh my god, Shingiru? What? <laughs> Did he get struck by lightning outside? What? Did you see that lightning strike? Shingiru, you did not just get struck by lightning and laughing afterwards? That's insane. But yo, I gotta see what the heck happened. <laughs> because that's crazy. Shingiru, struck by lightning. Shigiri was hit by a bolt of lightning, ouch. Are you okay, my dude? What? I don't even know why you're baking a cake right now. All right, we'll have homeboy take a bubble bath. I was gonna have him take something with soaks, but just have a bubble bath. All right, Naomi, how you doing on the book? Oh, she's about halfway, okay. We'll see if she can finish it up. And Archie? Get yourself inside. Do I have to control my whole family all over again? Like, do I have to control all of them all over again? Like, Archie, come inside before you get struck by lightning too. Be like Milo and just go to sleep. Like, just go to sleep. <laughs> and then we'll have Malaya go to sleep. She's probably just gonna let Naomi know like, hey, um, I'm going off to bed. I'll catch you in the morning and we're gonna go see these venues. So she's just gonna get some rest. But yeah, Archie, like he is so cute with his girlfriend. Uh, like, bro, I love Charlotte. I love them together though. Okay, everybody seems like they're going to sleep except for um, Elyon. <laughs> well, Naomi, I think she's almost done. I'm gonna have her finish the book and then I will catch you guys in the morning when we go off to see the venues. Oh, I'm so excited to see what she thinks. Alrighty, so we are up and awake and uh, Naomi's siblings are just here to bother her as they usually do. So we have Marlo and Archie just wanted to come in and like wake Naomi up. So I, they like turned on like her radio and just like woke her up. So. They're like, get up, it's early. We are actually going to visit these venues. Malaya's already up as well. And one of them isn't an outdoor venue, but Malaya says that we should at least take a look and see how it is because it might be something that the both of them might want to have for the wedding. Let's take Malaya and since it's the weekend, should we take, you know, the girls, Elion and Marlo? Might as well, right? Let's take the girls and we're gonna make them come since they woke us up early <laughs> alrighty so we're actually traveling all the way to Tartosa and we have these three venues that we have to go visit so the first one we're gonna see is this one hopefully we'll have to see how it looks I just kind of placed these ones down after I was looking in the gallery so I haven't really explored them but from the outside they look nice we gotta look in the inside see how it is we're actually going to come over here and look and see. Oh, okay, okay. Dang, nay, this one is so pretty. Oh, I think it's like bathrooms and stuff right here from what it looks like. And a piano. Ooh, wait, you can grab that? Hey, let's swipe the guitar. And you can dance here too, which is actually really cool. And Marlo's like, girl, I'm so sick right now. I'm really excited for you and your wedding, <laughs> but I'm like so sick. I didn't want to come. And Naomi's like, no, you're coming. Okay, you want to wake me up? You're coming with us. And Elion, 
Where is where are where is everybody? Go here together. Everybody come here. Do I need to add them all to my group? So we're actually gonna sit here. Everybody sit down so I know where you guys are at. <laughs> and uh, Malaya's gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like, look at this place. And Naomi, she likes how everything's kind of like outdoorsy. Like she likes how it's all outdoors, but she's like, this is kind of small for how many people we have, right? Like this is enough tables and whatnot, but like the area is kind of small. This is just like the reception area. And I don't know, she just is not really like feeling it too much. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, they have like drinks and stuff here. And this is where they get married. All right, so I'll have everybody come over here. They have uh, the sign that they have like their names on. So I'm actually gonna have um, send down two Sims. We're gonna do Elian and Marlo. And the mom's like, okay, like you guys just test it out. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> you guys walk down, walk down the aisle and see how it looks. Aw, oh, look at them. <laughs> Elion's like playing around. We have where you could take photos at. Okay, nice. Take group photo of adults. Wow, so Malaya's like, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys should totally come over here and take a photo. So we're actually gonna take um, a picture. Let's just take a picture of Naomi and Marla. Let's do one Naomi and Marla. Oh, this is so cute. All right, we're gonna take a picture of Elian and Marla as well. And they're kind of just like goofing around taking photos and stuff. So I guess it's just this one pose. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, we'll keep that one. Oh my gosh, Marla was like, y'all, I'm hungry and I'm sick. This is not it. <laughs> <laughs> so Malaya's like, okay, okay, let's go over to the next venue. We just started, you guys. Like, let's go to the next one. <laughs> so now we're over here. Who is in this water? Is this... <laughs> David, get yourself out this water, boy. Oh, add him to the group. David, while you're here. Alrighty, so we are at the next venue and David just appeared here. <laughs> and it's taking pictures and david's like hey you didn't get my message pursue venue oh my gosh david's gonna go pursue the venue not in them clothes you're not david is actually looking at maybe pursuing the venue he was telling naomi like once like she passed by he was like hey like you didn't get my message i heard about this place for your mom and she told me to meet you guys over here uh because i wanted to look at it and see he's like it's not outdoors but we'll definitely take a look and see around but it is really beautiful and i agree it is freaking gorgeous where is he going there's a lot of other people looking at this venue too look at all these people here oh my gosh there is he gonna talk to anyone he better not jump back in that water this is a really nice venue though there's so many people here so much people here but yeah david's checking out the venue and naomi where are you oh my gosh she's in the water <laughs> Naomi's already loving it. Naomi's like, wow, mom, this is a really nice venue. Look at the water on the side, y'all. No wonder there's so many people here. Oh my gosh, look at Eliana, she's sleeping. Marlo's in the kitchen. What's oh, a paparazzi? Oh no. Uh oh, he's spreading secrets. That's Dwayne, that's our cousin. Not Dwayne. <laughs> Oh lord, where's Malia at? But where's Naomi? Be called to meal? <laughs> actually, let's all sit here together, please. So, we're actually gonna come over to Naomi and ask her how she likes the venue. Hey, venue fees. Well, we ain't paying on you. Why is everybody here? Is this Scott? This is another... This is a Scott's twin with the same name. She's actually gonna talk to her like, Hey, like, what do you think about this venue? She's like, this venue is so nice and she's like mom oh my gosh this paparazzi here he's like they just can't leave us alone they're already looking around and already knowing that i'm looking at venues like this is just crazy like this paparazzi here and she's like i don't even think we can even get like a venue like even get like a spot for this venue and naomi's like oh my gosh i can't believe i missed your message she's like what do you think about this venue and david is super tense right now it's hideous. <gasps> he doesn't even like the decor in this place. Oh man, he's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I think that this place is probably a little too much for David. He's really so uncomfortable right now. Yeah, David is just not feeling it right now. And 
Naomi is angry. What? Who do you think you are saying such mean things? Who was mean to her? What? Oh, y'all this crazy, bruh. Okay, so we're actually going to go. <laughs> because this venue is nice and all, but everybody is so freaking uncomfortable here. Like, the paparazzi found out that Naomi's looking at venues. David does not like the decor. He doesn't like really that it's inside. He thinks that it's like nice and big and glamorous, but he wants something a little bit more low key, it seems. Um, so we're actually gonna keep David with us. <laughs> Take Malaya, Marlo, and Elian. And we're gonna visit this last one and we're gonna see what we think about it. David is literally like so uncomfortable right now he's not having it <laughs> he's like forget that bro Alrighty, so uh, we are at the last venue i don't even think our homegirl even ate <laughs> she's so hungry and she's very uh angry um but we're gonna come over and look at this one wow but this venue looks nice it looks like there's like beds in here that you can stay so Wow, this is really nice. What are you, what are you, what are you purchasing? Why are you way over here eating cake? Ma'am, we are not over here. <laughs> if you don't get yourself back over here. So we're actually gonna have oh. them look oh. around. So this place has a lot of nice like outdoor like little elements. There's a little like fountain, which is cute. And they have it where the two of them can like sit over here during the reception, which is really cute. And Naomi is so angry right now. It's okay, girl. <laughs> it's okay. Oh man, this is nice. This is nice, Naomi. You gotta like it. And this part is really cute. Because I don't know how many people they're really gonna have at their wedding. Like, we might need some more room. But let's see. Send down two Sims. David will escort and Naomi. Alrighty, so uh, they are so uncomfortable right now. Like, they just hate life at the moment. <laughs> Alrighty, well, they're just like, hey, like, should we practice walking down the aisle? Oh my god, that's so cute. And they're like, it's, it's like sinking in right now, right? Oh man. And then we'll have them go this way. And they're just like, wow. And just look at the lights and everything. It looks so cute. Why did it play music? I was not ready. I was not ready. And then Naomi was gonna be like, hey, like, what do you think of this one? What do you think of this venue? Like, but yeah, they're basically just gonna like talk about what they think about like the area and they're, they like it, but it's just not exactly what they really want. So they still kind of want to look around. They thought it was still good to look to see what was available, but they definitely want to see like what else is out there. Oh my gosh, Elion is sleep on a bench, girlfriend. Are you you okay ma'am are you okay <laughs> and they're just out here eating Alrighty, so we are now back at malaya's house and they wanted to just drop them off because i think naomi and david are gonna go back home but we did look at some pretty nice venues the one venue that malaya really thought might be a good choice for nay and david there was just like so many paparazzi there and it just didn't really feel like the best place for them and David was already super annoyed because he didn't like the interior <laughs> and he didn't really like so much of it being inside like he thought it was nice but he was just like yeah like this is just not the venue for me so we're actually gonna look around at some other venues later um but Naomi's like I am tired I am also hungry I think that um Malaya did have some food in her inventory and I totally forgot to grab it before I un uh, before I uncontrolled her, so let me actually grab that food <laughs> and let me put it on the table because um, I don't want it to go bad in her inventory. Can we? Oh lord! Yeah, let's just have everybody come inside. Actually, I think Naomi and David will probably eat before they go. Why are you? Just... Oh man, she's just so happy that Naomi's here. Like I've never seen her sing and dance so much. Like, I've never seen that. Grab a serving. We'll have Naomi eat. Oh, man, she has a book. Oh, my gosh. We have to send this in. Ooh, nice. Approved. This is exactly what we're looking for. Keep up the great work, Naomi. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that money coming up. She's just going to give her mom uh, a hug. Goodbye. And really just, like, thank her for taking her around. 
uh, Tartosa for the day. Oh, yeah. So she's going to give her a hug. She's like, Mom, we're going to go. Thank you for helping out and taking me around. Hopefully we can find a good venue that we actually really want and we like. We'll probably just go over to our rental, our area. We'll take David. All right, here we go. Because I really want to see if we can find a homeboy who stole my Tisa and my counter. Because I think it's, it's Jonas, right? Yeah, it's Jonas. I want to see if we could bump into Jonas because when we broke into his place, we found out about his secret. So I definitely want to talk to him about his secret. Are you really getting in the bath? I thought I had Naomi get in the bath. Well, I have Naomi take a shower then. Yeah, take a shower, ma'am. Uh, oh, he's taking a rose. Oh, he's. Oh, oh, it's self care day. Okay, David, it's self care day. He's like, man, after all that running around, doing all the wedding planning and things like that, I need to relax. See, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Enjoy yourself. What? She just got right in the bed. Okay, well, alrighty. So I'm gonna wait for them to wake up. Oh, okay, looks like Naomi's already up. He was like, yeah, I'm dirty. And then I think we might chat with some of our, um, what? That was a quick shower. She just turned it on. You can take that off, ma'am. <laughs> Boxes. Change into robe. If you don't get back up here, David, I'm about to lock you inside this house. <laughs> They have so many other things that they have to do, but we're actually gonna talk about the guest list. And then I also want them to talk about, since they're looking at like venues and things, talk about the wedding theme and also like preparing more things for like the wedding as well. Like what colors are you thinking that you really want to do? And I feel like I'm super into like the pastels. I love both of them with pastels. I don't know specifically what color, but I know they're probably maybe thinking of that because I'm thinking of that and that's how I want the wedding to go. <laughs> yeah, actually, what's her favorite colors? She just doesn't like brown. Well, David doesn't like brown. Um, and Naomi, she doesn't really have any color preferences. Hmm. Okay, well, seems like I can choose. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're actually going to have Naomi. She really wants to study some more of the language. So we're actually going to practice some more Toki Sulani. And then I really want to tell this dude about his secret. So <laughs> I'm going to wait till it's a little bit later on in the afternoon. And then we're going to talk to Homeboy about his secrets because I really want to tell him. Oh, we're really kind of close friends with Max. Maybe we invite Max to the wedding too. Like, Another five star celebrity, our mom probably knows him, right? I think she does. Oh, hello? The mailman just came in with his thunder thighs. Thunder thighs, where are you going? He delivered my mail to my house. Thank you. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, he know he look good. Our rent is a thousand dollars. Why? Bruh, why? Why is the rent so high? I mean, we got money, but Jesus. And then pay bills and rent. So we have bills and then rent. Dang, bro. Naomi, since you're down here already, let's just pay this and be done with it. Well, we're going to fix this TV, Nay, and then throw this away. And then we're going to mop this up. And then once we finish with that, I'm going to go knock on... Their door and invite them over because um I gotta talk to homie about his secrets. Repair. Is she really snooping? So Simone came over to hang out and now she's snooping through my stuff. <laughs> oh lord, what you snooping through, Simone? What do you want, ma'am? I'm right here. You can. No, she better not. She did not just swipe that. Bro, why is everybody swiping all my stuff? I'm about to just go in and start swiping other people's stuff. <laughs> no, she did not just swipe that. Oh, Lord. Nosy nuisance. No one can feel the gaze of a nosy sim. Were the binoculars really necessary? Yeah, were they? Maybe we should go visit Simone and Phoenix and get back my stuff since so she swiped it. Why does everybody like oh, to be stealing what? stuff? Alrighty, so we see him, y'all. We see Jonas. He's out here by the pool. So we're actually going to come over and uh, 
I don't know if she can call him over. Oh man, it's her dad calling. Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come and visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old daddy you love him. Can't you? We were just there yesterday. So, what well, we really didn't talk with Shingiri that much, actually. Why don't you come in right now? I'll visit you tomorrow. We'll, we'll just tell him that. Because we're literally in the middle of um, trying to get this dude. Oh my gosh, look at this <laughs> fine simp. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Booties unite. Oh, W. So, we called him over. He's like, hey, uh, um,. Hey Naomi, um, what's up? And I'm gonna be like, so oh, I know your secret. <laughs> As perfect, he came to me. Perfect, he came to me. And this is actually uh Simone's place. What? Look at him still swiping stuff. Oh my. Uh uh. He literally needs to go. She's like, yeah, I know your secret. Yeah, uh-huh. Look at Joe like, oh, what did you do? What is this secret? <laughs> now that the secret is known, Naomi can choose to inform Jonas that she will hold on to the secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold, hard simoleons. We're going to blackmail him because there's no way he's literally going around still swiping stuff. Yeah, we're going to be like, yeah, you know what? Uh-huh. Yeah. You give me that money. 100 that's all we got bro can we blackmail him again <laughs> that counter was expensive okay uh, hopefully you learned your lesson but naomi didn't just see him swipe this whole chair like why why like that is so crazy but this is phoenix and um simone's place and it is so pretty like oh i love this apartment love it love it love it but yeah, he better stop before he really get caught up. Because somebody gonna go around and start beating him. I can't believe he gave me a hundred simoleons. Like, what? There is no freaking way. So, we told homeboy about his secret. He got scared, gave us a hundred simoleons. I guess Naomi thinks that that's enough. But me, personally, I think I need the amount of money that my counter and my tea set costs, you know, like it's crazy. Um, but I'm actually going to end this part right here. It was really crazy looking at all the different venues and all the paparazzi kind of coming and swarming us while we're just trying to go out and find a place to get married at. Like we can't even chill. Like it's, it's crazy. Um, but Naomi, she got her cash. She confronted Jonas about him just being a klepto and swiping everybody's stuff. And I can't believe he literally came inside Simone's place. While Naomi was just chilling and waiting for him, he slipped right past us and swiped her chair. Like, this is literally insane. Thank you guys so much for watching episode five of my Sims Replay Legacy series. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Cannot wait for the next one. Definitely subscribe down below for more videos, as well as like the video and comment what your favorite part of the episode was. I definitely want to know. And hopefully, you guys have a great rest of the day. Stay beautiful and handsome as you already been before. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.